What's up everyone, Drew Binsky here, and in this video I'm gonna be giving you a little life update. Well, it's actually a huge life update because in the last 48 hours, I turned 30, I got engaged to my longtime girlfriend who is now fiance, and we just moved into our dream home, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be giving you guys a grand tour here later in this video. And all I can say is that it is absolutely surreal to have all these life changes happen so quickly, but I'm so ready for this next chapter of my life which brings me to a travel update. At the moment, I am still stuck at 194 countries. That means I have three left until I complete my lifelong goal of visiting every single country in the world. The final three countries are going to be Jamaica, Saudi Arabia, and Palau. I was supposed to finish last year at this time, but obviously things got delayed, and I'm hoping to finish in the next three months, probably in the order of Jamaica, Palau, and finishing in Saudi Arabia. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there on the road and making some really awesome stories for you guys to see. In the meantime, I've spent the past few months working really hard on the business side of things that I'm just not able to focus on while I'm traveling around the world. I'm talking about updating my website, creating my travel hacking course, which is launching soon, writing my book, editing my docuseries, and hiring people. As of right now, I have 22 people on my team from 10 different countries and they help me out with all sorts of things from editing to market researching to administrative tasks to legal representation to brand manager and more. Up until six months ago, I did all of those things by myself. I was a one-man band, but now I've realized in order to scale and make higher quality content and videos, I need to have a team of people who can help me. So I'm super excited for what's to come, and I hope you guys have noticed a change in production over my recent Venezuela series. If you guys saw last week's video, I announced my engagement to Deanna. Show the ring. We are over the moon excited. How do you feel? It was so overwhelming. The experience was so overwhelming. Yeah. There were a lot of surprises mm -hmm. and I'm just so happy. Finally, we're getting married. How um, do you feel? I feel just wonderful and it's, uh, it's really a special time in our lives. Mm -hmm. Over the last six years since I've met Deanna, we've been living and working remotely. We spent six months in Hanoi living there. Mm -hmm. We spent 18 months in Bangkok. Then we went to Manila for about a year and a half where we had an apartment there. Mm -hmm. And now it just feels so awesome to have a big home. I mean, this place is huge. <laughs> We've been living in like one bedroom condos and now we have a huge and Airbnbs. place. Yes, and not so nice Airbnbs. So for the remainder of the video, we're gonna give you a little tour of the house. We're gonna start with the master bedroom, which is right here. Uh, we got a really nice bathroom. If you come over here, brand new shower, and that door actually opens up to the pool area, which I'll show you really quick. Pool. So in the summer, we can go swimming and then go right into the house. Deanna's got her lovely makeup section here, which is really wonderful. And a mirror over there, mm -hmm. which you open it. Oh, you can see us in the mirror. Yeah. You open it and then you have all your stuff. Then we're going to be having all kinds of furniture, TV on the wall. But my real favorite part of this entire house is the mattress. Oh. We are currently outside. As you can see, we have Dudoy here. Hi, Dudoy. This is the backyard, so we have a little grassy area. Um, we have a fireplace back there and it's a pretty nice size. I mean, it's it's really good over here. It's gonna be your putting. It's going to be my putting green. You're gonna um, remove these. I'm literally putting a golf course here, which I'm really excited for. We're removing all this. This is all gonna be grass, and we're putting the plants over there. This area here, it's missing some furniture, but this is going to be. There's the, gonna be a lounge here. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a dining outside dining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice to host people. We have a cool little rustic chair, a place to hang out, and we'll be out here a lot, taking business calls, hanging out. This, These things right here close, and it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. So in the summertime when it's really hot, we have fans, and we have TV. Mm -hmm. Then over here we have a pool, which is really nice. So uh, have, you, have you ever had a pool before in your house? No, <laughs> swimming pool. Well, we have the inflatable pool. Only inflatable pool. So now we go inside. Here's the kitchen, so this is gonna be the... Our theme is black, gold, and white. Obviously, it's not done yet. We just moved in, so we're gonna be adding all these cool features, and we have an interior designer. Like, we're gonna be getting rid of these red lights yes. because we don't like them. So what do you like about the kitchen? Um, that I can cook, <laughs> finally. From the kitchen here, we go to the main living room. So we're gonna have a newer couch, a big TV mounted on the wall. 
got a fireplace there and it's just a really great little hangout spot. What's over here? So this is the um, the coffee bar, coffee and wine bar. It's not yet done. There's gonna be floaties there. So the wine glasses will be hanging. So right now I'm still savoring the, these balloons. Yeah, these balloons will last like what, a month? Yeah, they said a month. This is the entertainment room, right? When you walk in the front door, you have this. We have a 75 inch TV, we're gonna get couches here and stuff. And we got, we're still keeping the Marry Me sign up there because it's cool. We got the bar here. Um, we're still putting together all these boxes, so forgive us a little bit. Um, and this room right here is going to be my office slash travel room. I've always dreamed of putting all my collections on the walls and displaying that. And uh, it's a pretty big room here. And I'm also gonna have a desk here and my new iMac, which I just bought. The walls are gonna be covered in like, Currencies and posters. As we move further through the house, yeah, dude, he I, also wants to be on tour. You want to be on? You want to be on camera, buddy? What do you think of the house? I love it. I love it. What do you think of the house, buddy? As we go over here, this is the laundry room. Where nothing special in here, just washer dryer, which is actually really nice because I never have those in my house. And when I travel a lot, it's great to have a washer and dryer. What is this room? This is my office. As you can see, it's all white. All plain, white, gold, and black. So These are brand new IMAX. They just came out. We just got it delivered. It's, it's gold. It's literally gold. Check this out. Yeah. Oh my god. Have you ever seen a gold IMAX before? <laughs> There's gonna be a desk here and a TV here and a little um, chair and all this stuff. So, lamp, closet. So guys, that is the brand new house. Once again, I am just so beyond blessed and excited and grateful and happy to move into a new house, to be 30 years old, to have a fiance. That word is so much fun to say, fiance. You know, I've been calling her girlfriend for so long, but now I can just say fiance, so it's great. And we're just very, very happy right now. And you know, I'm just uh, taking this time off to just really um, be grateful for the last 10 years of my life. Pretty much all of my 20s, I was traveling, which is really wild to say the least. I'm really excited for my 30s. Um, I wanna know how old you guys are. I always like to connect with my audience, with my community. Let me know your age and where you're from. Just wanna see what's going on. I read all the comments, by the way, so would love to, um, to connect with you guys. Excited to upload my next series, which is from Iraq. We officially made it into Baghdad, Iraq. After Venezuela, I took a two and a half week road trip. Started in Baghdad, went up to, throughout Mesopotamia, went to Babylon. At one point, it was the biggest city in the world. Went to Basra, we went to Ur and Uruk, which are ancient towns. The very first words ever in any language were written right here. We went to Karbala to experience the pilgrimage, and we went to Najaf, and we went to all different kinds of old ancient Jewish settlements, and Iraq is just a wonderful place. We went down to the marshlands, um, and we did an overnight stay with a family there, and I have so many incredible stories for you guys coming, and I just wanna let you know that this is probably going to be my best series in my entire life, so stay tuned for the next 10 videos coming from Iraq. Um, and after Iraq, I will probably be jumping straight into my Jamaica content, which is coming up. I haven't been there yet. So this video is like a real time update. All my videos are delayed as you guys know, or maybe you didn't know, but if you didn't know, I'm telling you now, my videos are usually delayed. So right now I'm, I'm giving you an update of what's happening today. So gonna do the Iraq series. And then after that, gonna go straight into Jamaica and then probably Palau and Saudi Arabia. And then I'll get all caught up. And um, when I finish all the countries, everybody keeps asking me, what are you gonna do? And my answer is this, I'm going to be chasing the story as opposed to chasing the country. And what I mean by that is that I'll have a team, maybe one or two camera guys with me to help film. I still like filming, so I'll still be taking the camera also, but I'll have some guys out there that are shooting and I'll be really specifically going to tell the story because you know, up until now I've been traveling, but I just kind of show up in the country and figure out spontaneously what I'm gonna shoot. And it always works out in the end, but now if I carefully plan what I'm gonna shoot, who I'm gonna meet, I think the stories will be that much more compelling. Not to mention I have an awesome team of editors who will be able to turn around videos. So um, I think I'll be doing it like that and just trying to make higher quality, really awesome stories. And it doesn't matter where I go, if I go to Uganda or Tanzania or Texas or Argentina, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I just wanna find really, really cool stories. And I wanna do more tribal stuff. You know, a lot of my 
favorite stories have been going off the beaten path and meeting indigenous people and tribes and telling you their stories. So I'll be doing that stuff. And I think I'll probably travel half and half on and off. So I'll go for like a month and come back for a month. I'll go for two weeks, come back for two weeks. Now that I have an awesome home base, I can just hang out here and work and get comfortable here. Um, and then I can go back and hit the road. So I think the, the beginning of my travel content is still here. I, I think there's a lot of things to be excited about. There's a really bright future and in no way, shape or form is my channel gonna go downhill or am I gonna stop making content? It's actually the opposite. I'm gonna ramp everything up and focus on other projects like my book and my documentary and my courses. Um, I just wanna let you guys know that I've been working super hard on these courses. Um, it's going to be like all of my travel tips, travel hacking, travel secrets, resources, everything I've learned from 194 countries into one three hour, 12 module course how to book cheap flights, how to find cheap hotels, how to make local friends, which travel apps you should use, how to pack your bag like a master, how to stay safe on the road. All of those things are gonna be there, so I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Stay tuned for an announcement. And at this point, I am just rambling. I am gonna go in and make some food in my beautiful kitchen. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for tuning in. I, I hope you enjoyed the last two weeks of life updates uh, from me, the engagement video to Deanna, this life slash house update. And uh, right starting next week, we are going to be getting into Iraq. Stay tuned. Last but not least, I wanna let you guys know that my Jisco summer drop is hitting on June 25th. We have a brand new design here. I'm wearing the shirt. Here's the front and the back of this shirt, which is also the same as this shirt. It says, wherever life takes you, just go. We have the OG logo in a tank top version. We have the passport case cover with cool spots for your cars and then we have a sticker pack and also a keychain june 25th don't miss out i'm super excited it's so comfortable and if you want to wear the coolest gear in the world the coolest travel gear don't miss june 25th i'm drew binsky and if you like my travel videos please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as i take you to every single country in the world